Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's job stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. In Opelousas, a family is speaking out after their te three teenage boys were grazed by bullets during a drive-by shooting. Police are searching for a small red SUV in the incident. New Iberia police are searching for a suspect in a murder that happened Monday on Dark Valley. Steve Vial is wanting, wanted on charges of second-degree murder, among other charges. Some water systems in Acadiana remain under boil advisories as they recover from the freezing weather. One LUS official hopes to see their advisory lifted in the next 24 hours. A fourplex in the Ildakan apartment complex was evacuated on Sunday due to a chemical smell. Scott Fire Chief Chad Sanye says people may still smell the odor of the fumes. However, the levels are no longer a danger. Secretary of State Kyle Arduin is asking Governor Edwards to place a ban on the social media platform TikTok. The proposed ban would be on state government devices or devices on government internet. A new state law requiring homes to have an operable and lifelong carbon monoxide detector goes into effect next month. Lawmakers say Act 458 is intended to save lives. The government has released reserves of Tamiflu as cases of COVID, flu and RSV continue to rise and amid reports of shortages of, of over-the-counter children's medicine. The next Mega Millions drawing is tonight with the jackpot worth an estimated $565 million. Must have been the Powerball that was like $2 billion, right? Uh, just a few months ago, it seems like every other month now, we got big lottery numbers. There's a look at the weather for today. Cold this morning, just a light freeze, though. This is the last freeze we'll see for quite some time. And then for the afternoon, a lot of sunshine. Still a little chilly, though. Temperatures mid-50s. I know you're looking forward to the warmer weather. That's tomorrow. We'll see a high around 70 on Wednesday. All right, so a little chilly today, but warming up throughout the uh, rest of the once, week, right? Once we get to tomorrow afternoon, you'll feel that warm weather and it's going to be here to stay all the way through the start of the new year. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to POTS. We'll see you at noon. Have a great morning.